hey guys welcome back to the channel and then on today's video i'm gonna be showing you my crypto strategy and then i'll be analyzing btc usd eth usd of which is ethereum and then ltc usd of which is litecoin and i'll start with btc usd on the daily time frame of which it's bitcoin and then on the weekly time frame looking at the overall structures we had this push to the downside corrective move and then we had another push to the downside of which it created a corrective move. So initially, we are looking for those selling opportunities up until we reach this point here. These lows here is because we are following the overall structure. And then we have some type of an area whereby we have to fail at the lows around this point. So let me just remove a few of these so that we can analyze each and everything. So we have the low point around here. And then if you want, you can just plot like the highest high using the ray line. So looking at the hook points, we have this hook point here. We have this hook point here, of which is the mass ecology. That's where I expect selling opportunities, of which they will come around this point. They'll come around this point here. Let me change the color. They'll come around this area or this area here. So let's look at the daily time frame. And then on the daily time frame, what we have, we have this overall ascending channel. And then I'll just draw out like the ascending channel, just like this. So we have the overall ascending channel in form of an expanding pattern. And then we have the low here or the 90% rule. And let me just draw it out properly. And then looking at the four hour time frame, that is where we check for momentum each and every time. And then let me just draw out this area correctly. And then this is our middle section around this point. We have this middle section that we can use just because we came from an impulse. And then this is the corrective move. And then the overall push. And then we have the corrective move around here. We have the push to the upside. Then we have the corrective move around here. So initially, we look for those selling opportunities. And then looking at the current market structure, we created a pattern within a pattern around this point and just draw it out like that. So for the entries, I'm looking for selling opportunities, but not around this area just because we are not in any high value area. And then our high, our high value areas is this one here, just because the market is approaching this area. And then let's look at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, what I'll be expecting is for the market to initially reach like this point. Let's say if we create like this type of movement whereby we correct up until we reach like this point, create that mass psychology whereby people are caught in the wrong side. And then we get like those selling opportunities, maybe the first tight flag initially around this point. And then the broker that I use to trade like your BTC, USDs, your cryptos, I use like XM and then you can find the link in the description below. And then initially, this can be the tight flag that we're looking for. And then we can just extend or evolve like the overall structures into this type of format or this type of price action. And then we extend the lows just like this. And then that is where I'll be looking for those selling opportunities either on the first tight flag just like this. And then we are targeting this low point for about 5.4. And then the overall target would be at around 10%. And then taking the risk entry would be around this point here using candlestick confirmations. And then your stop loss can be at the top of the structure just like this. And then we are targeting the overall lows. And then looking at the inflection point of which is this one for about 18. And then the low point is at around 21%. So this is the overall trade setup that I have on BTC USD. And then looking at ETH USD from the weekly time frame, let me just remove everything. So on ETH USD, we have the same price action that we had like on BTC USD, as you can see here. We have a push to the downside, corrective move, an impulse to the downside, and then we have this corrective move. So we expect selling opportunities up until we reach like the overall lows of which they are at the lows around this point here for about seven seven three point three nine. Then let me just remove 
a few of these so that we can just draw out like the structures just like this and then the highest high would be at the top of the structure this one also would be important and this one around here so as you can see from this point we created that mass psychology activation and then what i'm thinking is that we can create like those selling opportunities or initially we can create that clear push to the upside and then we create like a continuation pattern to initially fill this area and then that is where we are going to look for those selling opportunities if this one here does not work out just because it seems like it's already good for you to take like trades on eth usd if you're trading it or if you're holding it for some type of an investment on a wallet so looking at the daily time frame that's where we draw like the overall structures and then the structure on eth usd is the same as is the same as bitcoin as you can see from the top of the structure this is the one that we have and then this is the area that we are going to focus on currently and then we have some type of the same pattern that we had like on btc as you can see it's a type it's a it's an expanding pattern two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom and then it seems like we created this pattern within a pattern to initially get like those selling opportunities and then you can take selling opportunities using like two touches just because this is a near miss in case you don't know and then looking at the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame we have that mass psychology activation as you can see around this area and then we have that pattern within a pattern around this point here just like this and then what normally happens on this type of pattern or this type of price action that we have here is that let me just remove this one here is that instead of having like an a clear one two three pattern we have that override of which it can be this type of price action we correct to the downside and then come back at the top of the structure to create some type of a double top before we can sell off to the downside just like that and then let me just remove these and then we have the an overall 90 percent of which is here let me make sure that i'm catering for the touches correctly and then let me just extend this one here and then looking at the hour time frame that is where we look for those entries and then we have the middle section which is here and then it's not clear is because we didn't get like an overall touch at the top of the structures so looking at the current market structure seems like we also have like some type of a pattern around this point of which it's not that clear or it's not that clean for us to use it so but we can just connect these highs just like this so as you can see the overall price action is very very corrective as i said we can just correct and then come back to the same areas create a double top and then that is where we can look for those cells at the top of the structure and then stop loss can be just above and then this is your first inflection point that is where the market will just react very deeply just like the scenario that i'm about to show you we push to the downside and then we create some type of a larger flag before we can push to the downside so this is the first entry on eth usd and then the second setup would be the one that we wait for that confirmation it clear push to the downside and then the first head flag would be the one that we take if it's in like your trading plan but both uh, scenarios are in my trading plan i take risk entries at the top of the structure and then i take low risk entries just around the same area of which is the green zone here you expect larger flags and tight flags and the risk entries for example this is the scenario and then on the on the inflection point you have like 11 percent the overall target would be at the lows for about 20 percent and then looking at litecoin from the weekly time frame let me just refresh then let me just remove previous analysis so as you can see on litecoin 
we are pushing to the downside just because this is the clear push to the downside a deeper correction a push to the downside and then on the lower time frames this is a correction then you have a clear push to the downside and then we have the corrective leg around that point and then let me just draw out this area we haven't tapped this area and then we have this value area around this point and then the highest high would be around that point and then the inflection point that we're going to use or the hit point that we're going to use would be this one at the top and then on the daily time frame so on the daily time frame we can just use like this one also just because we don't know if it's going to be the one that works out nicely this one or this one at the top of the structure but what i'll be looking for is for the market to clearly reach like these areas and then that is where i'll be looking for those cells on litecoin so let me just remove these and then let's continue analyzing the price action so this is the area that we have the price action is very very messy but we can just connect a few of these and then we have uh, some type of an expanding and then we have the corrective move to the upside of which if this price action continues like this then we can look for those reversals at the top of the structure or continuations just because the overall trend is to the downside so we can expect selling opportunities on that on that override and then looking at the day the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame what i'm thinking is that i can just evolve the overall structure to this pattern here a clear expanding pattern just like this so this is the expanding that we have let me just make sure that i'm catering for the touches correctly and then looking at it we are correcting to the upside so what i'll be managing is this area here i'll be managing this area quite closely up until we reach like the top of the structure just because what i'm expecting is for the market to clearly give us this clear ascending channel and then when we reach the top of the structure then that is where i'll be making sure that i'm riding this trend to the downside is because we have a clear structure showing us that we are looking for those cells just like this the first target would be around here just because it's the 90 percent and then the overall inflection point would be at around 9.9 .9. and then remember that we are targeting the lows so this can be a target that you use for management and then it would be at around 13 percent and then the overall target is at around 14 percent so initially this is the trade that i'm looking at on the four hour and then let's check the hour time frame so the four hour and the hour time frame they are corresponding with each and every which with each and every idea that we have on litecoin and then let me just draw this out also just to make sure that everything is still intact just because this can be a pattern that gives us like more confluences than the one that i have in mind so this can be this way and then looking at the structures i think we can have like a risk entry around here or around here at the third touch so initially i would like to take like the one at the top of the structure and then the stop loss can be a few pips above and then we're targeting the same areas and then mind you if this type of setup does not work out just know that we have a few areas that we can use of which is the one at the top around this point and i want the one at the highest high of which is this one here so yeah that is it for today's video and then yeah i'll see you on another one make sure that you check the links in the description below make sure that you click the like button make sure that you drop a comment for the algorithm